In this video, we are going to solve an interesting problem on PASPRESS 31 NMR spectrum. The PASPRESS 31 NMR spectrum of P4S3 consists of the options are a singlet, a doublet and triplet, a doublet and quartet, two doublets. First, you should know the structure of P4S3. The valency of PASPRESS may be 3 or 5. Sulfur valency is 2. We have to draw a structure which satisfies this condition. If you know the structure, it will be very easy to solve this problem. I have taken one phosphorus. It is attached with three sulfur atoms. Further, these three sulfur atoms are attached with three phosphorus atoms. They will form a triangle. This is the structure of P4S3. We have P4S4, P4S6, P4S10 also. Find out the structure of these compounds. These two compounds will have similar structure that of adamantane. It is organic molecule. Check the structure of adamantane. These two will have similar structure to adamantane. P4S4 is another interesting molecule. Find out the structure of P4S4 also. Now let us go to the phosphorus 31 NMR spectrum of the given compound. Phosphorus has I value of off. Similar to hydrogen fluorine atom, the I value for phosphorus is off. Here we have two different types of phosphorus atoms. This is attached with three sulfur atoms. But these three are different. These three are attached with one sulfur atom and two phosphorus atoms. So these three are in the same environment and this one is a different environment. So we can expect two different signals for this compound. Based on that, I can eliminate the first option. We will get two signals, not only one signal. Now, what about the multiplicity of those two signals? This signal will be split by these three phosphorus atoms. They are only two bonds away from this. So, this phosphorus atom can split this signal. Similarly, this signal will be split by this phosphorus atom. In the case of proton NMR, the hydrogens will be three bonds away. One, two and three. Yet, the signal of this will be split by this. Here, they are only two, two bonds away. So, we can expect this signal to be split by this phosphorus and vice versa. What about the multiplicity? To find out the multiplicity, we go for the formula 2Ni plus 1. Here, I have three identical or equivalent phosphorus atoms. So, N will be 3. For phosphorus, the spin value is off. What we get is quartet. This signal will appear as quartet. What about these three phosphorus atoms? They will give one signal. That one signal will be split by this phosphorus atom. I have only one, so I can expect doublet. So these three phosphorus atoms will give one signal and that will be doublet. So the correct answer is doublet and quartet. Let us go for the structure of P4S4 also. The structure of P4S4 will be something like this. This is the structure of P4S4. What about P4S6? The structure of P4S6 will be similar to adamantane. This is the structure of adamantane.
there will be four phosphorus atoms and six sulfur atoms. The point group of this compound is TD. All the phosphorus atoms are in the same environment and all the sulfur atoms are in the same environment. So for this particular compound, you can expect only one signal for phosphorus. What about P4S10? P4S10 has similar structure to P4O10. Often this is referred as P2O5. Even though we write as P2O5, the exact formula is P4O10 and the structure will be similar to adamantane. Let's go for P4S10. Here, you have to introduce oxygen atom or sorry, sulfur atom. So the valency of phosphorus will be 5. In P4S6, the valency of phosphorus will be only 3. But when you go for P4S10, the phosphorus valence will be 5. 